What is going on world? Steve Dad back with another episode and listen today I wanted to talk a little bit about nutrition. So, uh, you know what I've done is open up uh, my fitness pal uh, Do me a favor stay tuned in this video and I'll actually tell you how to connect with me on there as promised uh, I want to make every single thing that I eat accessible to you But in this video what I want to do is also share a few Nutrition based tips that you can utilize to support you along your journey All right, so Let's start with uh, Monday, May 17th. We'll start with day number one on this journey, at least day number one for me. Uh, you can kind of see what I have for breakfast, that uh, crunch salad. That's uh, actually a kit that you can get from Costco. Um, breakfast two. Um, so I have my meals labeled as breakfast one, breakfast two, lunch one, lunch two, dinner one, dinner two, just to help me have a general reference of what time I consume them. Although there is a note section at the bottom where you can put in specific times if you want to go to that extent. Uh, this right here, what you're looking at this breakfast too, that is actually a protein shake. Typically post workout, I'll have a, uh, vegan protein, a uh, plant-based protein shake. Uh, I can't consume dairy or dairy. It, it messes me up big time. So I avoid it as much as possible. Um, and you can kind of see what I have for lunch. Uh, there right here, you can see I went out to McAllister's. What's really interesting about this is that like, I got a salad, a uh, chicken salad, I believe, with raspberry dressing. Uh, yeah, which wasn't bad, but one of the things I, I noticed immediately, and I kind of already knew this, but look how much sodium is there. Oh, low power. Hopefully I can still make it. Look how much, 790 milligrams of sodium. So, you know, we really have to be careful about how much sodium we're consuming for multiple reasons. One of those reasons being that the placement of water in your body is going to be significantly influenced by the amount of sodium you have and where the sodium is located. All right. So basically, as you're consuming more sodium, uh, what's going to happen is your body is going to begin retaining more water. Right. And, and it's great to stay hydrated. You know, we need to, we need to drink plenty of water. But if you get to the point where you have a ton of sodium in your system and all of a sudden now you're retaining that, it kind of can lead to some other health related issues. So. Definitely want to be mindful of the amount of sodium you're consuming. And you really got to be careful when you go out and eat because that's one of the ways that they flavor food is by using a lot of salt. Uh, lunch two, there was nothing there. Uh, and then here's the dinner that I had. Uh, pasta, man, and, and this is probably one of the most beautiful things about tracking everything that you eat and accurately measuring it is that sometimes it brings things to light. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand carbs. I knew that pasta, I know it could catch up with you. But like just looking at this meal I had for dinner, it's, uh, you know, I had four ounces of pasta with four ounces of ground turkey, uh, some Texas, uh, Texas toast, garlic bread, and then some uh, pasta sauce or spaghetti sauce, whatever you want to call it. But I came in at almost a thousand calories in that meal. But like if you look at it, you will see that really it was the high carb items that really done me in you know like i've got this pasta that came in at 400 calories um or yeah 400 calories 400 kilo calories we'll talk about that at some point also and then same with this texas garlic toast right 34 grams of carbohydrates there uh and you know th those are things that you have to be mindful of you can see later on that evening i was still hungry so i ended up having another salad uh Total and total for that day, I ended up consuming a little bit over 2,300 calories. You can see at the very top uh, next to it where it says exercise, there's an adjustment you can make in the MyFitnessPal app that will allow it to uh, monitor your, your, how much you're moving throughout the day. I link mine through Fitbit. I'll share that information with you also, how you can uh, link up with me and get in touch there. But basically, utilizing that app, uh, basically, it tries to keep an accurate measure of my activity levels and factor that into how many calories I can consume per day. Uh, what I oftentimes try to do is I try to come underneath my goal or at my goal without factoring in the exercise calories, uh, but it's sometimes nice to be able to look and know kind of where I am on the day. So that was Monday. Tuesday, uh oh, there we go. Tuesday, you can see I went over a uh, decent amount if you don't factor in the exercise. If you include the exercise, I guess not so much. But basically, breakfast, that salad again. Uh, my second breakfast, I had more of that pasta dish. Uh, similar to spaghetti, I guess, but it's not with spaghetti noodles. So 
I don't know, I guess it's just pasta with meat sauce or whatever. Anyways, oh, and I had some sweet mini peppers. Uh, another thing, and I'll point out at the bottom of this screen, there's a snack that I had, that Nature Valley Bar. Overall, a decently healthy snack. But again, we've got to be mindful of how much sodium is in, in items. That's 140 milligrams, which wasn't bad, but it's also part of the reason why I only consumed one of those. I think I was hungry and in a hurry, and I made a major mistake that many of you have made or will make in the future. And that is, if you fail to plan, you can plan to fail. You know, I know we've, many of us have heard that before, and it's a reality because basically what happened was I ended up, I think uh, I, was, I was maybe working, working away that day or had a photo shoot or something, and I ended up really hungry, right? So I was hungry to the point where I'm like, you know what, I'm starving, I've gotta eat something, and there weren't many options there. So uh, that's how I ended up doing that, whereas I could have prepared a salad or a small bowl of fruit or vegetables or something to take with me to be better prepared, but again, that's where tracking comes in because I am a firm believer, listen, that which matters in life gets tracked. And that applies to most areas in life. You know, whether you're looking at where you are financially, right? If you wanna to get to the next level financially, you need to track your spending. You need to track your earnings. You need to track your investments, right? I mean, it, there's just so many different things. If you're, if you're lifting weights, right? And you're, and you're looking to continue getting strong, you need to track what your workouts are, what you're doing. You know, if you're, you're on a nutrition journey as I am and you're maybe you want to lose some weight. I don't know. Then you need to track what you're consuming. And that's the reason why I utilize this app. I will say and I've been personal training for over two decades now. And, and I will tell you by far the clients who have experienced the absolute best results with me on a consistent basis have been those who take the time to track what they're consuming. So I get it. It may seem like it's an inconvenience, but once you start hitting those hitting those numbers you want to hit and once you start reaching your goals, you'll realize it is absolutely all worthwhile. Uh, one of the things you can do to make things a bit easier is kind of become a bit of a uh, habitual consumer, I guess. So you will notice oftentimes I'll eat like the same thing multiple days in a row you know some people can do that some people can't doesn't bother me one bit because i don't eat for uh how do i put this I, I don't eat for the flavor because i want something delicious i eat because of the impact it's going to have on my body so that's my mindset going in so it's not so much of oh i need to make sure this tastes absolutely amazing it's like you know what i need to get so many grams of protein in per day so many grams of carbs so many grams of uh fats in right healthy fats when possible so here you can see lunch too very similar to uh my lunch yesterday you know a little bit lighter you know as i cut out the garlic bread because i looked and realized whoa i cannot afford to eat a couple of slices of garlic bread with that each time i have it uh for dinner this is a i kind of end up putting this in as a meal which is another great option you can kind of group items together and then if you hit these three dots down here you can go to save as a meal and give it a name uh this specific uh set of items is kind of like a v a grilled cheese sandwich that i utilize with vegan cheese or make with vegan cheese uh roasted chicken breast so um yeah again full transparency is what i wanted to do here there's nothing that i've consumed where i have not entered it here here's that protein shake again you would notice it's pretty much the same makeup uh once you get to the point where you're eating the same items it is so much easier because you can go to those quick meals you can enter it quickly measure your stuff out hopefully you have a digital scale all right and that's going to help you a lot oh i forgot to scroll down on yesterday but here you can kind of see i did 9500 steps that day uh water consumption you see how low that is one, one thing that I've, or two things that I've noticed that will absolutely impact each and every one of our journey in terms of how much we're eating. One, if you are not adequately hydrated, you're going to continue to have hunger, hunger pangs, pangs, P-A-N-G-S, right? That's going to happen. You've got to make certain you're getting in plenty of water, right? Don't be like me, right? Be better than me, right? So make certain that you're getting in plenty of water. Uh, the other thing is make sure you're getting plenty of sleep 
because it never fails. Anytime I stay up late at night editing videos or anything like that, I hit moments where literally I feel like I am absolutely starving. And then what happens if I don't have a quick healthy meal, I start reaching for snacks because it's quick and it's convenient. I don't want, I don't want that to be you, especially if those snacks aren't healthy items. Um, you know, one of the things you can try to do to be proactive is to keep healthy items always available. As long as you have a healthy alternative, you'll be all right. Um, so let me go on to this next day, day number three. Boom. Give me a second. There we go. Um, and again, over the total caloric goal, but factoring in exercise, it, it basically calculates that I have some more calories remaining. Uh, oatmeal squares. That was some cereal my wife eats or something, but that's what I had for breakfast. One, you can see me again with that pasta and ground turkey. Uh, scenario again. And then here's that protein shake, which means I worked out right before it. Literally, post-workout, you know, you want to get in quality protein, quality carbohydrates, and in many cases, you want to also replenish your uh, glucose stores, right? So get into some uh, glucose, glucose as well, sorry. Um, and you can see for lunch, had another salad, and then blueberries, beef top round, I don't remember. Oh, that was some type of sandwich or something that we had for dinner that night. And looks like I ate twice. So the fact that I have two dinners listed on here, I can assure you, I pro well, yep, there's my steps there. So almost 15,000 steps, which isn't unusual for me. Um, you know, I enjoy being an active person, living an active lifestyle, which also is going to contribute to my journey because I try to stay busy. I do small things like I, I, I never get on elevators. I take stairs when I go places. When I go to the grocery store, I don't park close. I park far and I enjoy my time walking in and, you know, it's just small things like that. But all of that, all those small things add up uh, to the grand grand scheme of things. Uh, going on to day number four, you can kind of see uh, breakfast. Uh, that means I got up and worked out first thing that morning since my first meal was a, a protein shake, which means I surely I woke I worked out early, early this morning. Um, let's see. Yeah, and you will notice like many of the meals listed in here are the same. And that's what I do to keep from driving myself crazy. You can see on this day, 17,000 calories. Um, in case you're wondering why I don't remember exactly what I've done on this day in terms of the time I work out or whatever, I'm actually recording this video. This video series is actually gonna be exactly one week behind. So I won't start releasing these videos uh, until the Monday after. So. What was it may 17th i think was monday it won't come out until you know the monday after that so i'll do that for the first week i'll have some other cool interesting videos but hey do me a favor make certain you like comment subscribe let me know where you are let me know if there's anything i can do to help you along your journey uh you know my goal is to get out here and help you know in whatever way that i can um i'll continue logging meals and things i'll continue staying active and showing you all the ups and downs in my journey I will admit, I've had moments of weakness. You know, there, there was one moment where literally late at night, going back to me, staying up late editing real estate videos. But, you know, I got to the point where I just had a, a craving for something sweet. But instead of going in there and grabbing one of the kids' snacks or something, uh, we had blueberries and strawberries in the refrigerator. So I measured out a couple ounces of blueberries and a couple ounces of strawberries. And you know what, they were, they were, they were in season. They were absolutely delicious. And one of the other things that you'll notice, and I'll kind of bring this video to a close, but one of the other things that you'll notice is that when you start cutting out like the the artificial sugar and 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 uh yeah, well just when you start coming cutting out junk food, we'll call it, right? The 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 snacks and, and candy and stuff like that, whatever you, whatever your sweet tooth thing is, you will find that fruit is extremely sweet. Right. So you start getting rid of some of that high tolerance you have for it. And then like when you eat like when I ate blueberries and strawberries, it was like a like a, it was almost like dessert. You know, now keep in mind, that although fruit is great for us, sugar is still sugar. So that doesn't mean that every day, all day, you should just be sitting there pounding, uh, you know, blueberries and strawberries and, you know, or whatever your preference is. You know, er, er, most things when it comes to eating. Oh, no, no, I take that back. All things when it comes to what we consume. 
we always have to have the mindset of moderation, right? It, water included. You know, there was a uh, on a radio show. Uh, I don't know. This has probably been maybe 10, 15 years ago. There was a water drinking contest and one of the contestants unfortunately passed away from. Uh, oh, what is it called? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I cannot remember the exact term off the top of my head, but basically having too much water as a hypernatremia maybe i don't know hey you know what somebody looked that up and tell me i can't remember off the top of my head it's been a while back but basically from consuming too much water at one time so yes too much of anything can be a bad thing for you now this individual i'm certain consumed like over like <laughs> it, it may have even been like gallons of water in a very short period of time right so that's not going to be us we're going to drink water all day long but we're not going to just sit there and chug gallon after gallon after gallon while on a radio show or talk show being inactive or anything like that so hey listen hope this video served you well uh and i also hope that it's recording audio because i'm on my phone i couldn't get the my fitness pal to work on the computer speaking of which this is how you find me on my fitness pal if download the app download the app and the next thing you're going to do is subscribe to this channel when you subscribe to this channel i'll see what your name is what your username is and then on the my fitness pal app send me a friend uh friend request a friend invite and then once you do that you'll be able to click on my name click on my diary and you can literally look at my entire journey every single thing that i eat every single day of this this journey so uh, i want you all to have direct access to the information uh you can find me under simpose fitness that is s-e-m-p-o-s-e -E fitness f-i-t-n-e-s-s -S -S, with no space in between so send me an invite in the memo line uh or wherever you can put the notes Put in your YouTube username so that I can know that you're a subscriber. Once I see and verify you're a subscriber, I'll add you in. You'll be good to go. Same thing with uh, Fitbit. If you happen to utilize Fitbit and you want to look at my daily steps, my uh, daily activity, you know, basically just my steps, I guess. Uh, you can send me a request on there. It is underneath the exact same name, Simpos Fitness. And the same thing applies there. Just uh, send in the memo or the friend request write your youtube username and just put you know such and such youtube subscriber so i'm aware and then you'll have access to all that information um, i've got additional information on the my fitness pal you're going to find photos you're going to find graphs of my body measurements of the weights i'm lifting my work like it's just going to be a lot of information absolutely free to you i'm not asking for anything besides you know share this video with somebody that'll be greatly appreciated and you know like i keep saying like comment let me know you're there let me know you're listening tell me about your journey right we spent this last what is it probably been what 10 minutes or so talking about me and my journey let's hear about you and your journey comment below let me know you're there all right thanks for tuning in and i'll